I didn't even see how much gas we had. <laughs> we could be running on here right now. I don't know. What we're doing today is trying to figure out why this carburetor keeps coughing. Pretty sure we have it jetted uh, a little too lean. What we did initially when we first got this bike is it didn't want to idle, so we rejetted it and got it to where it would idle right. But every so often, it would uh, kind of backfire and cough out of the air filter. So what we're gonna do is pull the air filter back off, get um, some spacers back in there for when we put it back together. And we're going to change the entire carburetor out. So what we're going to do is take this and compare it to this one. We have some more jets here. We actually have we have a whole bunch of jets down in there. We have some replacement jets, different sizes for this carburetor. We are going to see just how well it runs. What it is, it runs pretty good in the summertime, and it runs okay in the winter. But it does spit back and cough a little bit when you get on the throttle. And uh, that's just from poor jetting. So we're gonna see if we can't fix it. this up look and see what jets we have and compare it to the new one from what we did looks like in there we have uh, 66 and this guy is a 190 I know you guys can't really see it's not the camera doesn't want to focus ah! So we got 19066. Let's see what's in you. That says 170 something right there on the side. And down there, that says 45. I'm really not sure <clears throat> if that's going to be correct. Because that is way off from what we have in here. But let's try it. Let's give it a shot. See how she does. So they're tuned completely different. And uh, we're just going to throw it in there and, and see what we get. Like I said, we have other jets and everything that we can put in here. So let's, let's just uh, let's give it a shot. flowing through it nothing's leaking luckily that's good we are gonna have to do a little more tidying up throttle cables because that one is just way too tight it doesn't want to stick in that housing see if we can't get it to run well joke Just that idle screw out just a little. We can get to it. Getting to be a little too hot.
So this isn't working. So we're gonna take it off and uh, try something else. I'm gonna put some other jets in it. I guess we'll go bigger, right? Bigger, better? I don't know. I really do not like messing with carburetors anymore. Most of the bikes we have are carburetors and they suck. Okay, so what we pulled out, I know you can't see, this one says 45. This guy, I think it said 170. I kind of dinged it up a little bit getting it out. What we had in here was a 190 and a, oh, a 55, 55. I was wrong in the beginning. So we we're going to put 45 wood we have maybe a 60 so if it's too lean we want to go up sizes right so we have another 45 42 48 this is a 45 and these are dirty here's a 50 this is a 60. We're going to put the 60 in there just to see. We're going to stick this in the ultrasonic to clean it up. Do 60, 190 in the old carburetor. This is a 180. Here's a 195, 185. We're going to do 185. Actually, uh, 195. Sorry. So we're we're going. We're changing everything about this carburetor right now just with these two little jets. Let's get them in there, see how it runs after we clean this guy. We have the biggest jets we have in in the bike now. Let's let's see what we got. Turn some, turn some fuel going. Get it on down in there. We're gonna try and start it with the choke off. See what happens. Maybe just the idle. Just the idle a little bit. See that. filter back on here to make sure we don't melt any of these fuel lines which we might but what's a little fire I'm guessing these are gonna go in here like that and the spacer with whatever washers we need right in a previous video I told you I ground down this plate this is what I had to grind off look at that because it wouldn't fit uh, right here it was hitting on the carburetor that's what we get using the Generic jump. Gotta get some Loctite on there too. The way this thing vibrates, I can just see all this falling off on the, the side of the highway somewhere and just dangling around. <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll go until we hear a couple things crack and pop. We, we were at it 
its capacity. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. So, we did a terrible job maintaining throttle cables. I don't know what's going on with those, but <laughs> I think it'll work for, for a little while. This, I expect to get hot. I should probably trim it or try and tuck it away somewhere. We're not gonna do that either. We're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> this thing is slowly turning, slowly turning into a death trap. So, let's take her for a spin. We're going to go down the back road. See how she goes. So far, it should have been popping by now. You would hear it just pop and he'd lose power for a second. You lose power for a second. <laughs> so, uh, it's good. It's, it's not doing that right now. Although, we could be running way too rich. And we could burn out the spark plug, which would leave us stranded because I don't think we have another one. <laughs> it's all about the adventure, anyways. Who cares if you get stranded? That's part of the story. So we have uh, this cool little loop we like to do when we're working on the bikes. It is, uh, it's about, I think it's probably a two or three mile loop around our little country town back here. You should have checked the tire pressure. The front end feels a little wobbly. Man, I, I am definitely unprepared for this, <laughs> this little journey. All we did was uh, put the new carburetor on to adjust the jets. I'm not too excited about the 
throttle cable. Or the way the gas lines are. Hey. It's okay. <laughs> Ooh, big truck. What's really cool, usually cruising at a 35, 40 miles an hour like we're doing right now in third gear, this thing would be spitting and sputtering. It hasn't done it once. And that's, that is a beautiful thing, let me tell you. I feel, uh, I feel good about it right now. You know, and until the inevitable happens and it goes kaboom. But we're going to enjoy the hell out of it until then, all right? <laughs> That was the key. We just had smaller jets in the carburetor, and I mean, it could be something else inside of that thing. That uh, I've had them before, to where the springs for the slide have been so worn out. Everything's working the way it's supposed to, but uh, and not being able to figure out exactly what's wrong with it, replacing that spring on the slide on the top of the slide uh, changed the entire feel or the entire way the bike responded and how it ran. And that was on a dirt bike. Uh, it was, I think it was on an old. Um, TCR, so it might have been on a YZ, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, just changing that the spring to a stiffer spring really uh, gave it a whole, a whole new meaning to life. It changed its character, and I mean, it was just a great bike overall after that. So we haven't backfired, we haven't sputtered or spit, we haven't lost any power. Dare I say, we got it fixed. Shouldn't speak too soon. Look how much play we have in there. <laughs> I'm sure we did something wrong. It feels, it feels a whole lot more responsive too. Um, even though we have all of this play <laughs> in the throttle, we'll, we'll have to try and adjust that. We probably won't. I say, I say we will. I doubt it's going to happen. We're going to get back to the house, put it in the garage, and start working on the KTM <laughs> for another exciting uh, thing to talk to you guys about this is going to be in a, in a later video probably in the next uh, couple weeks is some really really cool stuff we're going to be doing with charles city dirt riders and uh, if you don't know what charles city dirt riders is check them out i'll leave a link down in the description for them and uh we're, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff with those guys and spend a lot of time out there with them and uh i don't want to say too much because we're still there's still, it's still work in motion, but it's in motion. And it's going in the direction it's going. <laughs> we, uh, we were able to doctor her up, get her to where it's not spitting and sputtering anymore. That's that's a huge plus. I am a little uh, curious because it's it's probably 55 degrees right now, and uh, with the wind, it's uh, I'd say it's probably 45. Woo. So it's running pretty good right now. I'm curious to see when the summer comes and it's 100 degrees out <laughs> if, uh, if it's going to start fouling plugs or if we're going to have to rejet it. Whatever it is. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Woo! Jesus. That, uh, oh. God, that pothole. I got to tighten the handlebars up now. Oh, oh that hurt. That hurt. That hurt my boys. <laughs> that pothole literally threw the bike out of gear when we hit it. Oh. Oh. Terrible. This 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 bike hates me. I try to be nice to it. Not really, that's all. I don't try to be nice to this thing at all. <laughs> I guess, I guess the feeling's mutual between the two of us. Yeah. 
We did it! Victory! Yeah! Everything looks good. It's not leaking. The tube. The tube is a little warm. But I think it's going to be okay. We might trim it up some. I'm not sure. Or we might just leave it. I don't know. Alright, so make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. We, we still got a long way to go with this thing. But I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, I'm Tenwismoto.